very textural. Weird offish vintage I'm colour. Just thinking out loud is oxblood. All right, sounds good. We're in New York, but we're not in Manhattan. We're in Bushwick, Brooklyn, which is the perfect backdrop for a brand like Eckhouse Lada. Let's see what Eckhouse, Isamaya, and the Mac Pro team have in store for today. We've been huge fans of Isamaya for like years and like learning that she was a fan of our work as well was like really yeah. flattering and it's just been like to seamless. To actually like get to meet up and realize that we're all like nerds that are obsessed with what we do and, and really excited to do this together was very fun. Tell me about your journey and why you decided to go and pull out the airbrush today. The Eccles Latte, I feel like they're very textural. You know, I wanted to know the reasoning why their girl would wear a makeup look or what makeup means, or does it even mean makeup? Is it more of like an accessory to the look or is it like that's how the woman they'd style would want to look herself? That's the only way to make something feel truly uh, believable and kind of work in synergy with the whole. It's super soft. So that's why I went with airbrush because it's very soft. And then also using off pastel colours. Applying the colour in a more kind of liberal and carefree way. Isamaya is placing colour not on a feature. It's sort of just a painting, wherever you want it to be. So I've been using the 24-hour uh, Studio Finish Concealer. It's super easy to apply, and it's kind of a one-stop shop. It just done. <laughs> soft brushes create soft effects. So I'm using Studio Concealer with a really soft brush. It delicately sweeps across the skin and gives you this almost angelic-like texture. I feel like in this collection, we have a really nice range of like colors and textures, silhouettes that, are, that we've never explored before that we're really excited about. I was really inspired by the coats, which have this like two-tone kind of weird offish vintage color. So for me, it was all about like texture and how to try and convey not just mm. the color palette, but also the way that the color presents itself in the fabrics. I think they're like the most beautiful colors, to be honest. This is that really beautiful translucent airbrushing that is matching the fabrics and I think it tells a really beautiful story. With working with MAC and the extensive kind of palettes and products you guys have, it's so exciting to get to play with that in addition to such a diverse, fun cast. It's so exciting. I mean, Mike wears MAC every day. <laughs>